Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at offsetting paths in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new document, 900 pixels wide and 900 pixels high, and I'm going to select the rectangle tool, and you can left click and drag to draw a shape, or you can left click anywhere on the artboard and specify a width and height. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using 250 for the width and 250 for the height. Click OK. OK, so we've now got our square. And let's just zoom in a little bit. And we can remove the fill. And we've got a black stroke. We're going to thicken up that stroke. So let's make that 10 points or 10 pixels in width. Now, if you're using a newer version of Illustrator, you can round off the corners by just selecting these circles on the inside of the edge of the shape and just dragging those towards the center. If you're using an older version of Illustrator, just go up to Effect, down to Stylize, select Round Corners, adjust your radius and click OK, and then you can then edit the Round Corners effect from the Appearance panel, or you can select it and delete it altogether. Because I'm using a newer version of Illustrator for this tutorial, I'm going to round off the edges using these little circles inside the edge. So we can round this off, and you can see it shows the radius as we adjust it. Now if we go to the top of the screen, we can see here we have the corner radius box. So let's specify an, a nice round 30 pixels and press return. So we have our square, we have our corner radius on all sides of 30 pixels. What we can do now is we can select our shape and I'm going to give this a shade of grey. I'm next going to go to object down to path and select offset path. Now when offsetting a path, we can specify a positive or a negative value. We're not going to focus on joins or miter limit for this tutorial, just the path offset. So if I set this to 10 and select preview, and then if I give this new version a different color, so a slightly lighter shade of gray, you'll see that it offsets it equal to the width of the shape we originally created. So if I select the original shape we created and go to Object, Path, Offset Path, and this time I will enter minus 10 and select Preview, you can see it creates it on the inside. So I'm going to click OK and pick a slightly darker version there. And I'll click the very outside one again. Select Object, Path, Offset Path, and I'll change this back to 10. So positive 10, click OK, and give this a lighter color again. So you can see that by adding a negative value, it creates a path offset on the inside, and by adding a positive value, it creates a path offset on the outside. So that's one way we can do it. Let's move this over to one side, and we're going to try something else. So let's just hold Alt and Shift, and we're going to drag the original shape that we created. So that's the shape that is 250 pixels in width and height. And we're going to use this and zoom back in. So with the shape we just created, all of the path offsets that we created from the original were all touching because they were the same width. However, if we select this shape and go to Object, Path, and Offset Path, and instead of typing 10, let's just select that preview box and type in 20. So you can see we've now got a 10 pixel or 10 point original shape. We then have a 10 pixel or 10 point gutter between these two shapes, that's the spacing. And we then have the shape on the outside that is also 10 pixels or 10 points in width as well. And there we go. So I'll create another copy of this shape. And if we set the stroke weight to 20 points, and then go to Object, Path, Offset, Path. If we want to create that same effect where we're creating two of these shapes with this dark grey border, but we want to have a width in between those that is equal to the width of the shape itself, we're going to need to double the size of our shape. So this stroke is 20 points or 20 pixels in width. So let's type an offset of 40, and when we click Preview, we've got that consistent spacing. 
And again, as we did before, we can go minus 40 and it will create it on the inside. So it depends what effect you're trying to create. So let's move this back down to 10. And with this selected, we can go to Object, Path, Offset Path. We've got 20, click OK. And we can go and repeat this process as many times as we like. And it will just keep adding one to the outside or the inside, depending on what we've specified. And then we can go and give this some different colors and make it look all pretty. Now, once you're happy with your shape, you can select everything. And if you start scaling it up or down, everything will likely skew out of proportion. However, what we can do is go to Object, Expand, leave Fill and Stroke selected and click OK. So now Illustrator no longer recognizes these as a stroke, but a fill instead. You can see the question mark here is because we've selected four different shapes, all with different colors. So if I give this one fill, the fill color changes because they're all the same. And we can now scale this up or down and it all remains in proportion. And there we go, that's how you can offset paths in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.